It could also be that someone around may react to the components of this. So be careful, make sure you have just few people around. So this bag gets really hot, especially at these ends, these hollow ends. So you can tell your model not to, um, to avoid touching this place. You can hold it like this, hold it like this. Yeah, and then move with it because it really bends, like it can hurt your finger. So for this shoot, I didn't have a lighter with me, but my assistant Uche was quick enough to get a lighter from someone passing by, and then we used that. Now, while you shoot, it would be advisable, if you don't have a director, it would be advisable to be directing the model while shooting, like wave it this way, wave it that way, and yeah, pay attention to facial expressions too, the right facial expression you need, whether you need a happy look or a stern look, just let the model know that occasionally you would have to tell the model to step out of the smoke because it can get really engulfing and you wouldn't be able to see the model so you can tell her take a step forward take a step to the left to the right just be directing while shooting So I'll show you my personal favorites from these shoots. Let's take a look at them. So guys, there you have it. Smoke bomb or color smoke photography, whichever you prefer. So yeah, this is a quick one showing you guys how it went when I tried it. This is how it went. I'm actually looking forward to practicing more of this, to trying more of a few different colors, even a mixture of colors actually. That, that That's not a bad idea. One advantage I think the smoke bomb has is you can do all the colorful parts, the fun look shoots, and then you can do the cinematic dramatic look too. Probably when you get, if there's a black colored smoke bomb, you can use that blue, and use that for something dramatic and then all the bright colors you can use it for something fun so you have both ends which you can try with smoke bomb so if you photographer and you haven't tried this guys i think you should try it have you tried smoke bomb photography before let me know in the comment section how it went you know if there are additional tips you have you can just drop them down there and let's share so that's it for today so like share subscribe and comment on this channel you know if you subscribe then you tap the bell notification bell so you get notified the moment i'm releasing content there's a backlog of content coming up you should expect something of good quality rich content great value just sit down relax and then let's just share ideas together if you have anything you'd like to say just drop it in the comment section and let's move on i'll catch you guys on the next video until then be crazy <laughs>